Before we get to the calls, though, I want to tell you about a special edition next Monday. We're going to have a live town hall. It's crime in America, okay? If you or someone you know has been impacted by crime, this is your chance to be heard. We're going to have mayors, law enforcement, elected officials, uh, and victims of crime from all over the country. Not only is there going to be a live studio audience here in New York City, but also in Chicago and Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, okay? So you can join our town hall in person. You sign up by going to www.newsnationnow.com backslash town hall, www.newsnationnow.com backslash town hall. Okay, who do you got? Okay, I have Gloria from Chicago, one of the places where we'll be having a watch party. All right, sign up for the town hall, Gloria. What do you got? I will, thank you. Um, my question is, if Congress really does have UFO information and they decided to reveal it to the public, couldn't that send the public into chaos knowing that we have pockets of extremism in this country? Who knows? Look, I think you err on the side of transparency. Uh, And for me, it's hard to believe that people knowing that we're not alone uh, wouldn't be a a beautiful notion and that would that would inspire the best out of uh, humanity. But I I don't know. And it really doesn't matter because I don't know that that's what this is about, by the way, in terms of the nature of what subject matter they're not uh, telling us about. But We've got to get back to trusting our institutions, and the key to trust is transparency. Next. Uh, Atticus from Long Beach, California. Oh, great name. Atticus, how you doing? What's your question? I'm great. Thank you, Chris. Hi, Chris. Um, I was attacked out of nowhere by a drug addict. We were in the middle of a crowded store, and it was caught on camera. Crime is out of control. I am so glad that you're planning to address this a widespread issue in your town hall uh, next week. Uh, First of all, I'm sorry, Atticus, uh, and I appreciate you calling in. And obviously, thank God you're okay enough because you're calling and you're still functioning, but you're not alone. Uh, And very often the fear of things uh, can exceed the factual basis for that fear. And that matters also. So we're going to have a clear eyed look at where is crime up, where is it down and why and how much of it is about the, pro- the approach to crime in certain cities like where you are in California and a lot of the metropolitan kind of philosophy about what to prosecute and what not and how. So we'll get into it and have the discussion. It's not designed to be a ratings grabber, but so what? We should be doing stuff that matters. And why not do it here? Why not do it now? Next. Uh, We're going to go to Steve in Scottsdale, Arizona. Is that a News Nation zip up that you have? Oh, yeah. Take a look. Take a look. There we go. Yeah, it's cozy and soft. I You have one of these. That's why I got myself one. Do I? Yeah. You you bought it from your cameraman. Yeah, I did. Can you believe that he upcharged me too? That was Mo, by the way, who did Mm -hmm. that. You bought it from the cameraman. Yeah, Steve, took Steve, my money like that. Anyway, Steve, from um, Steve, what do you got? Hey, Chris, I was lucky enough to uh, to be able to watch you on the PBD podcast over the weekend. A mm. uh, couple questions about it. Looking at the 6,500 comments on their YouTube channel, it was obviously uh, that you, you threw things off there. You came in and uh, one group saying, you're a Jedi master and you hypnotized everybody. One group saying PDB was too soft on you. The other group saying, man, the guy has changed. Did you know what you were walking into and was it calculated or just organic that you got that kind of turnaround from everybody who viewed it? And do you plan on going on more right wing podcasts in the future? First of all, PBD would not like you calling them right wing. Um, I fear no conversation. And, I, you know, the idea that I'm going to come in and get slapped around by, you know, a bunch of zealots is a silly notion. And I think that I haven't looked at the comments. Uh, the, it's called the P, like P. Patrick Bet David is the guy's name. P.B.D. or his initials, obviously. That's the podcast. You should check it out. Uh, he's got a huge draw. The guy's building an empire with this valuetainment thing. He's going to be relevant in the media and for a long time to come. And he's not some flash in the pan zealot, Okay. He's a a smart guy. He's made a fortune uh, running businesses, and I think he's got his best days ahead of him. However, I'm no Jedi. My shtick is having no shtick. And uh, I think that people who want fights, who want to see me attacked, who see things online that are taken out of context, you know, it's over for them before it begins. 
uh, and I can't worry about them. You know, I just go there. I try to be straight and I have not, I'm no different. Uh, personally, I've been changed uh, by what I went through, but I do the job the same way I always have. And thank you for giving me a chance. All right. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.